you guys know any hypocrites? You know, people who say one thing but do another? Truth be told, I'm actually a Raiders fan. Hey, my name is Mr. X. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey, thanks for tuning into the Extreme Channel, where we're normally all about extreme collectibles. Sometimes we delve into travel. And a lot of times we just talk about whatever the fuck I want to because it's my channel. So today we're going to talk about hypocrites, but more specifically, we're going to talk about one hypocrite and you are looking at him, Mr. X. My name's not even Mr. X. But as human beings, we are very, very judgmental creatures. We're often guilty of projection. That's where we see something going on with us, maybe subconsciously, and we always point it out in other people. Well, I see a lot of people to be a hypocrite, so before I start calling them hypocrites, because I see it a lot, not only within the normal communities I dwell in, whether that's traveling or statues or work, but there are a lot of things that I do that are pretty hypocritical, so I wanted to call them out justly. Some of these you may have already noticed, some you may be learning for the first time. So let's dive into the top 10 reasons I'm a hypocrite. Now with that being said, these are not in a particular order, it's just 10, but we will start counting down at number 10. So the first thing we're going to talk about is if you're a follower of the channel, you know that I don't sleep much. I usually sleep for three, three to four hours a night, and I have trouble sleeping that much as it is. So to help myself, I usually take sleeping pills. And of course, they're you know not prescription because that would be illegal if I had prescription ones I'm not prescribed for. Oh, this is uncomfortable. And while they do get me that three to four hours of sleep, then I wake up exhausted. So almost every night I take sleeping pills, but then to counteract them in the morning, I drink energy drinks. I mean, while I don't know if that falls into hypocritical, but it's pretty stupid. So I do that almost every single day. I'm sure it's gonna mean an early death for me. Now another thing, if you're a follower's channel, many of you are not subscribers. I always ask you to like and comment and subscribe on this channel, especially with statue related or collectible related stuff. The truth is, I rarely watch YouTube channels with my kind of content. So the content I deliver, I rarely watch other YouTube channels. I used to a long time ago. Part of it's because I'm too busy. Part of it's just because, eh, I don't know anymore. There are a few YouTube channels I watch. If I had to pick the biggest ones I, I watch, it's about political stuff, current events, or barbecue. I love to watch barbecue and smoking and stuff like that. Then a lot of movie stuff. I enjoy just watching the best clips from movies and you find those on YouTube. Especially I travel a lot so I'll be in a hotel and I watch 300 different movies in their best clips but never any other collectible related stuff. Another thing, believe it or not with this amazing physique I work out almost every day. Different types of workout, weightlifting, cardio, stuff like that. But after I work out, I will go consume thousands of calories, mainly liquid calories, if you know what I'm saying, but sometimes actual physical food calories. So I work out, and then everything I did working out is just diminished because I love to pig out on calories, whether it's amazing food or lots of alcohol, another hypocritical thing that I do. Number seven, uh, you know I'm a big traveler, not only with my family, but for work. So we go all out at the airport. We're first class, we're in the clubs. However, we will bring an empty backpack and fill it with all the free shit I get from all the perks. It is unbelievable. We will have a backpack full of free stuff, and while we're spending thousands and thousands of dollars on these upgrades, we don't want to spend 10 or $20 on bottles of water or chips. So we will stock up on every free thing possible while spending thousands of dollars to be in that top tier. All right, number six. This is more my wife, but you know, when you're married, you start to accept things. She uses coupons, not coupons, coupons everywhere. She uses coupons and you know we've done a lot of different stuff before videos where we talk about she'll drive to four different grocery stores. But then also I will stop by somewhere and pay five times the price just to save time or convenience. So we'll go out of our way proactively to save tons and tons of money and be really frugal. But reactively, it doesn't even matter what the price tag is on things. Number five, I think a lot of people do this, and somebody actually accused me of this at a bar recently. Now, I wasn't drinking diet soda, although that is kind of my go-to. I like Coke Zero. But they say you order a huge buffet meal, or you order McDonald's, and then you get a diet soda. Now, the purpose isn't, hey, I'm feeling good about myself. The purpose is, hey, I'm eating 2,000 calories when I should only eat 1,000. So why tack on another 200 calories with a actual soda instead of diet? 
And I found diet soda is kind of like anything else. You drink it for a year and you transition from regular soda to diet soda and eventually you do like the taste. Kind of like beer when I was seven years old. I had to make the same transition. I'm fortunate enough to not only travel a lot for work, but my family. My family has nine different vacations this year and we go to these luxurious resorts and everywhere in the world, but I make my children, my two teenage sons, share a bed. So I'm dropping 10 plus thousand dollars on this trip and then I make them share a bed so I can save a little bit of money. In fact, the day I'm filming this, about a week ago, we have an upcoming trip in three weeks, and I noticed I could change rooms where they had to share a bed, and it saved me $1,000, so it was a no-brainer. For the record, I did ask them first, but I did have a big bat in my hand and asked if it was okay if they shared a bed, and if not, we'd have problems. So I'll pay for these luxurious vacations, but I make other people have an uncomfortable few nights while we're there. Another very hypocritical thing I did, check out this video. Last year, we did a pool in our backyard. We absolutely love it. We use it all the time. I told Mrs. X, hey, we got this going on, and we spent 150 grand on this entire setup. We won't go on as many vacations. Yeah, we're on number nine this year already. So kind of hypocritical or just, again, this could be just a list of stupid stuff. Years and years ago, I made a video on storing boxes for statues. And at the end of the video, I said, a storage unit just mathematically does not make sense. I said, on average, you're gonna sell 20% of your statues. You might lose 20% of the resale value if you have to wrap them in special packaging. So if you add up what a storage unit costs, it just mathematically doesn't make sense. But if you're a follower of the channel, you know that I pay like eight or $900 a month now for storage units just for empty boxes. I recently did this video right here. So very hypocritical of me, say that's stupid to do it, and then I ended up doing it. Now this last one, and this is pertinent to the collecting community, is when you buy things online from strangers, you should use secured payment methods. Preferably, PayPal Goods and Services is the best one. That way, if they don't deliver, then you have recourse. And I've even posted stuff on the Extreme Channel Facebook and other social media. If you want to check that stuff out, the link is in the description below. There's exclusive stuff on there. Well, to be honest with you, I say never use unsecured payment methods, friends and family, stuff like that. I still do. Not too often, but I still do. And I say never, ever, ever use it because you might get ripped off. But that's maybe why I did this video right here showing how I got ripped off in $5,000 worth of stuff. So with those 10 items, and again, they were in no particular order, I think we can all admit we're a little hypocritical. We all say things and then do the other. So it's confession time slash want to win a statue. Throw down in the comments below something you're hypocritical about. Check out the other comments. Hey, this is a guilt-free zone. Don't attack anybody. I bet you you relate to some of those as well. I love to interact with you guys. And again, we're approaching that 35,000 subs. You might win a statue. As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one was easy. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you wanna make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues. Based on a comment, you can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Again, thank you for those tuning in. I've been doing a lot of different videos lately and a lot of people aren't digging them, but you are, because you watch this. So I appreciate that and I appreciate you. And if you could appreciate me by hitting that like, then we can appreciate each other in a different way later.